Good morning children. Today we shall learn about perimeter of regular polygons. What is the perimeter of an equilateral triangle? We know perimeter of any closed figure is the boundary enclosed by the figure. Like here it is shown by the green dotted line. In case of an equilateral triangle all the sides have equal lengths. So an equilateral triangle has three sides which are of equal length. So perimeter here is equal to 3 into the length of side. We also know a triangle is a three sided closed figure. It is a polygon where each line segment intersects exactly two other line segments. Now in case of an equilateral triangle all the three sides are equal. So we can say it is a regular polygon meaning a polygon which has all the sides of equal length. So we can say an equilateral triangle is a regular polygon with three sides and its perimeter is equal to three times the side length where all the sides are of equal length. Now if we come to a quadrilateral then we know it is a four sided closed figure. Now if all the four sides are of equal length then we can say it is a regular quadrilateral. What is the perimeter of a regular quadrilateral? We can say it is equal to 4 times the side length as it has 4 sides of equal length. Now here we have a closed figure with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sides. So it is a pentagon with five sides and if all the five sides are of equal length then we can say it is a regular pentagon. Now what will be the perimeter of regular pentagon? It will be equal to it will be equal to 5 into the length of each side which is same for all the five sides. Next if we think of hexagon then it is a six sided closed figure and when all the sides are of equal length then we can say it is a regular hexagon. So a regular hexagon is a hexagon which has all the six sides of equal lengths. Here what will be the perimeter? As we can say all the six sides are of equal length. Perimeter will be equal to six times the length of the side. And what about heptagon? A heptagon is a seven sided closed figure and if all the seven sides are of equal length then we say it is a regular heptagon and the perimeter in this case will be equal to 7 into the side length. We can say in an octagon there are 8 sides and when the length of each side is equal then it becomes a regular octagon and the perimeter of regular octagon will be equal to 8 times the side length. Same way when a closed figure or a polygon which has 9 sides it is called a nonagon and when all the 9 sides are of equal length then we can say it is a regular nonagon and what will be its perimeter? Its perimeter will be equal to 
9 times the side length. Same way, we come to a figure with 10 sides. And when all the 10 sides are of equal length, it is called a regular decagon. And the perimeter will be equal to 10 times the side length. So, what did we see? That any regular polygon with n equal sides, here n can be 3, 4, 5 and so on. If you remember, it cannot be 2 or less than 2 because then we won't get a closed figure. And the perimeter of all these regular polygons with n equal sides will be equal to n into the side length as all sides are of equal length and the polygon has n sides. So, this is the generalized formula which we get for a regular polygon with n equal sides. P is equal to n into the side length. Now, let's check. Here is a regular polygon with n equal sides and say n is equal to 7. So, what will be its perimeter? Its perimeter will be equal to 7 into the side length as it has 7 sides of equal lengths. And if you remember, this is what we saw. A regular heptagon which has 7 sides of equal length. And what was its perimeter? Its perimeter was equal to 7 times the side length. So now we know how to calculate the perimeter of any regular polygon with n equal sides. So remember children, a regular polygon with n equal sides where n can be anything 3, 4, 5 etc is equal to n multiplied by side length. So that was all about the perimeter of regular polygons. Bye bye children.